is not in service at this time. Here we are today on Ichwe Wednesday. What's up? Oh, you know, just, uh... Sean's just showing up. Yeah, so, uh, uh... I mean, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything neat. I didn't have a good day. It wasn't a great day. Fuck your day. I don't care about your day. Let's talk about how we just sold out. We did sell out. <clears throat> so we sold out in the best way. We have sold out completely. Um, really, all we're trying to do is just sell out. Yeah. yeah. Right? I sold in because I didn't understand, but now I'm selling out. Sure. Okay. Well, we sold out, and we sold out to the uh, Crafty Beer Shop. Yeah. Shouting out Wendy. Super nice to, to do this for us. We are getting beer for a month from Crafty Beer. Just so we can drink it and talk about it on our shitty podcast. Yeah. So nice of them. That's By the way, so nice. This is all have what he's having. I'm Alex. This is Sean. Hey, we're selling I, out. I I am Sean. What's up? Uh, I mean, I'm 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 still Sean. I got nervous. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm so pleased that that they chose to do this. It's Wednesday. They have a special thing every Wednesday too, where they kind of show off beer. Is it called Ihwe Wednesday? It's not. It might be now. Hey, let's fucking get Wednesday to be ours, because we're prime time. I want Wednesdays off work every day for the rest of my life. This is work. I'm going to live forever. Oh, God. R.I.P. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, we sold out. I know we just we drew names from a hat. <coughs> we did. Are you serious with the coughing? Yeah, I have like pneumonia and SARS. This guy last week just crunkling up Lucky Charms, coughing into the mic. I What's your feel- excuse? I don't know how to justify myself to you. Okay. I'm my own person. Okay. I'm me, okay? Deal with it. All right. Well, anyways, back to what I was saying before you coughed all over me. I'm me, okay? <clears throat> Deal with it. I hate you. <laughs> we drew names from a hat. We got uh, an episode list pretty much for the next 12 episodes where we'd be mixing these issues together. And, and we got one in and then... Sold out. Sold out. We said, Jaeger's gross. Let's just... We're done. We're done. You know what I want to do instead of drink Jaeger? I want to... Sell out. I want to sell out, and And I want to... Drink a beer! Drink a beer! But I definitely wanted to sell out. I can't wait to drink a beer. I'm a redneck, and I like to drink beer. Give me a beer, and I want to shotgun that beer with a beer. With a beer. And I'm going to chase that beer with another beer. You might be redneck if you drink a beer. I love beer no matter day on time, there's a time to beer. We got sponsored <laughs> for a month. Crafty Beer Shop, they're going to give us some beers to drink and talk about on the podcast. Um, so the next four episodes, we're taking a hold on this whole list of mixing in together. And yeah, frankly, I'm very happy about it. Next one is Jameson and Sundrop when we get back. I'm not pumped. I'm not pumped about any of that mixing shit together shit. I'm only doing it. You know what? We were selling out before. We were selling out the wrong way. Now we're selling out the right way. Because we're drinking beer. We're going to drink a beer? Sorry. We're going to drink a beer. (laughs) But more than that, we're going to help out a local business. Local business. Whereas before, we weren't helping anyone. No, we're helping ourselves. Not even. And dead fat John Ryan. We were helping Jaeger. Jaeger doesn't. We don't want Jaeger, and Jaeger probably doesn't want us. Right. That's true. That's true. That's true. They're German. We're not German. You do the math, okay? Now, Crafty Beer Shop, on the other hand, is in Raleigh. We're in Raleigh. It makes sense. It makes sense. So, speaking of Raleigh, they actually, they gave us a gizmo. Beekeeper Honey Wheat. God, I love Honey Wheats. I really do, too. They gave us a couple, and this is the one we chose first because this sounds great. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. The other one also sounded great. Yeah, sure. But it's a coffee stout, and I just ate 
and a stout is typically a meal for me. Yes. Which says a lot about who I am, and not in a good way. Okay. But it looked really good, but I was like, yo, I just ate. I really want to do this honey wheat. I think it would be smooth. I think it would be... I hope it tastes like bees. There's there's a bee on it. I think it's going to taste like bees. Bees nuts. <laughs> Guy, give me a beer. Oh, God. Um, I'm going to open it. Are you opening it? Okay. Uh. This is this is available at... At Crafty Beer. Ooh, yeah. Oh, man. Let's uh, pour it in this glass that I, speaking of Raleigh, North Carolina businesses, I stole from uh, Flying Saucer. <laughs> <laughs> I stole a bunch of stuff from Tier Nanog before it closed. Oh, come on. I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds lovely. That's your little bit, and I get the rest of it, because <laughs> fuck you. It smells really good. It smell <laughs> like honey and wheat and beer and bees? And bees. I was going to say it smells like bees, but yeah. So Gizmo, I I don't really know a whole lot about Gizmo. They're a Raleigh thing. They're a Raleigh the thing. I love beer. I love Raleigh beer. I like. Beer I boss. love that there's so many beers that we can choose around here. Sure. And I love that we're getting stuff that's local. Gizmo is their sponsored thing, actually. Like this upcoming uh, Wednesday. For, oh, what if it's the 26th? Yeah. This is like their sponsored stuff. They sponsor a different uh, brewery. And they chose this one, and they gave us some. Well, Gizmo's what's up. Um, I'm really, really pumped. I'm so grateful. Like I said, I've never... I don't, I don't know if I've ever had it. Maybe, like, drunkenly at a bar, but... It's a 5.5%, which is not bad. That's solid. Are you looking it up? Are you going to look no, up Gizmo? No, I was looking at all... Actually, I got distracted by all their uh, their choices. There seems to be a good, a good bit. Oh, you know what we're going to do with them? Drink them? Drink a beer. We're gonna fucking drink them. I'm gonna drink them. I might butt chug one um, on the podcast. Okay. Or for fun. Oh, there's a lot. Gizmo's legit. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Gizmo, that I'm late to your train, but yeah. I'm sorry that, you know, I'm not sorry that we were gonna drink you. I'm sorry that it has to be reviewed by someone as dumb as us. Someone who's so non-informed. I mean, I had the best taste. I have, I drink the best beers. Uh, yeah, it's gonna it's tremendous. It's gonna be it's gonna be huge. It's the look at the the bees knees. Ho oh, ho! Oh. This guy. All right. Well, I think I'll take a sip. Right. I mean, yeah. Go ahead. You know what? You know what? Beekeeper Honey Wheat by Gizmo Brewers. I sip while you were talking because I was impatient, and it's oh my god, that's so good. Uh. That's spectacular. Everyone's going to think, this is going to rate high, I'll tell you right now. Everyone's going to think that we sold out. These people paid us off, paid us thousands of dollars to to give them a positive rating. Because really, we call. We're, we're movers and, and shakers. shakers. And we're players in the Bev game. Don't hate the player. Hate the Bev game. If you get a ringing endorsement from All Have What He's Having, if they're like, yo, Gizmo, Beekeeper, Honey Wheat, <coughs> better start stocking that shit. Yeah. Because that shit's flying off the fucking shelves. Like bees. So can I be bought? Yes. Does it take bee honey? No, it takes bee beer. It takes honey wheat. Bee for beer. I like that it tastes like bees. It really does taste like bees. I used to eat bees all the time growing up, and this is so nostalgic for me. This is really, uh, really good. I used to ferment bees. Uh, bee shine. Bee shine? No. I'm talking out of my ass. I was waiting for you to say something. Oh, I'll say something. <laughs> um, I was reading the bottle real... <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you... I'm good. Are we done? Should we just stop? I'm drinking a beer, but I definitely have walking pneumonia. Okay. Well, There's like a 100% chance. Maybe he'll die and I'll get a new co-host. Maybe it'll just be you, and it'll be, I'll have what I'm having. I'll have what I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the saddest fucking podcast of all time. It's, it's just, just recordings <laughs> of someone drinking by themselves at home. Oh, so uh, Gizmo and, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, Raleigh and uh, beer, yeah. I'm gonna, this one's... What I do is I drink half of it and pour the other half out for my homie. Right. <laughs> I'll have what I'm having. 
That's the saddest shit in the world. Speaking of consuming alcohol, were you? I think it was prior to us turning the mic on, but you were talking about you know butt chugging. Yeah, some of this. I butt chugged Jaeger. Oh, I could still taste it though because it's that strong. Right, right. It's probably part of your bloodstream now. This uh, is really good. This <clears throat> is really good. This is a lot better than Jaeger. I'm just gonna say it. I can taste the honey. Um, I can taste the wheat. I can taste the wheat. It's it got a fruity th- kind of thing, and it goes down like water. It's yeah, this thin. is dangerous. Yeah, it's a real it, thin kind of. Beer. It is a five point five. But I could drink like That's four of these. That's nothing to sneeze at. Don't sneeze on me. I'm not. Oh damn! He pointed his finger at me. He was he was genuine about not wanting that sneeze. I didn't. I'm not gonna cough. I'm not gonna cough. I was waiting for it and everything. I'm not a bitch. I want to cough so bad, but instead I'm gonna drink a beer. I'm drinking this beer as well. <clears throat> it's just good. I could yeah. drink down like four of these and be like, "This is great." Yeah. I'm gonna walk home. So this is my first time having this. Is it yours? This is my first time, too. You're just having what I'm having? Uh, I had what you're having. I'm, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, Man, Raleigh, North Carolina, fucking coming in again with the win. God, right? Beer? We've done other Raleigh beers before. Beer is fucking good here. I am... Yeah, it is. I love Cleveland beer. It's my thing. But beer is good in Raleigh. You got Big Boss. You got a Lone Rider, right? Big Boss, Lone Rider... Uh, Cloud Brewing, mm-hmm. Trophy Brewing. Trophy, shit, I forgot. Gizmo fucking Beer Works. Yeah. Brew Works, excuse me. Yeah, I promise I can read. Uh, My glasses are at home. I didn't leave them in the Bev Lab. Well, this is good, and Raleigh for the win. Yeah, right? there's like a lot of, yeah. Red Oak is not terribly far. No, I would, no, I can't say Raleigh, but. No, not Raleigh. <clears throat> but. This is good shit, it's it. Really a competitor with all of those names I just named, and I've never had it. And again, I think I'm very late to the party, but holy shit. Yeah, we got one of those uh, tall boy bottles. I'm really hoping that this comes in six packs, man. Give me some beekeeper, dog. Yeah. You know where I should get this? I should get this at Crafty Beer Shop. Uh, You could. Yeah, I could. I think I will. I think I will, too. I think we might be going out there. I think we need to. <clears throat> you know what? If we're going to sell out, let's sell the ish out. Let's sell this out so hard it comes out of our b-holes. Wow. Okay, so we're going to sell it out of our b-holes. I'm going to pour the I'm going to butt chug. There's no beekeeper cuz no. my b-hole is flowing. Yeah, right? I'm going to butt chug stuff and then I'm going to excrete it out into pints from my b-hole. It's like I'm the barrel except I'm also absorbing it and going to get very shitty. Right. Very fast. Right. And then I'm gonna, uh, I guess, shit my pants. Okay, we'll it's be right like, back. We're back on it. I beat you to it. Oh, you, you fucking... <laughs> oh, fuck! <clears throat> Got him. What are we drinking? We're drinking Gizmo Brew Works Beekeeper Honey Wheat from Raleigh, North Carolina. Ah, 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 ah. Raise up. Take your shirt off. Uh, PewDiePie, motherfucker. Did you say PewDiePie? E. The Swedish guy that reviews stuff on YouTube? He, like, plays... No, I really don't want you to, like, throw some weird fucking reference around. Petey Pablo? Yeah. Petey Pab. Okay. You know? Make him go, uh uh-uh. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're back on it, and again, I can be Alpha too. Fuck you. I'll talk over you now. Again, we are delaying the list. <laughs> the list has been delayed. God, can we delay the list more? Like forever? Yeah, as long as they keep this flowing. This sounds so... Where y'all at? You are crafty. It sounds so much better than drinking anything on this. We're going to make Shotgun Betty with Orange High C. I'm not pumped. Right, right. This is a treat. This is like almost dessert. Right. It's sweet. It's not overbearingly sweet. But it's, I feel like I, I feel like I had to earn it. I feel like you had to go through cheer wine and Jaeger. Yeah. To get to this level. This is redemption. This notice, is what redemption tastes like. Notice the second we, we do cheer wine and Jaeger, we just, we get sponsored for a month and we sell out and we were, I think what it was, was we were highly motivated to not ever do that again. Yeah. Yeah. Plus dead fat John Ritter. 
Yeah. Yeah, Dead Fat John Ritter, like, had a meeting with the higher-ups and, you know, Last Chance Podcast Network. He said, I'll Lots haunt you if you don't do that. NASDAQ. Yeah. Dow Jones. NASA. NASA. The uh, Yakuza. Yakuza. Um, the NRA. NRA. The Freemasons. The Skull and Bones. God, a lot of the Freemasons were there. <clears throat> we're all involved, so... Basically, a lot of shady shit went down, and uh, here we are drinking this honey wheat, and it's fucking delicious, and we're not doing that shitty list. We're going to do the list. We shouldn't. It's coming. But we're going to do it anyway. Right. Eventually. <clears throat> how, how, how long can we ride this train of glory? The glory train. I'll ride the glory train all night, brother. I'll drink a beer all night, brother. I want to do the voice, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to cough. Are you talking about Bob Etheridge? Former congressman? The former congressman himself? Because <coughs> I'll just tell you who I am. <coughs> who, who are you? I'm former congressman Bob Etheridge. No, I'm former congressman Bob Etheridge. Who, who are you? <laughs> who, who are you? You kind of sound sick. It's funny. Uh, Bob, old, Bob, are you feeling okay? I'm a little under the weather. I'm old. It's very easy for me to catch... Pneumonia SARS. Do you recognize me? Uh, wait, who, who are you? <laughs> who do you work for? <laughs> oh my god. That's go, really hey, don't work on getting reelected, bro. <laughs> <coughs> oh man. Speaking of, early voting starts today in North Carolina. Mm. Just gonna softball that in. Who are you going with? Uh, me? Nader. Uh, I'm gonna go Ross Perot. Mm. Can't wait. Yeah. I was going to go with Jill Stein. But then Nader. Yeah. I was going to write in Bill Nye. The science guy? Yeah. <sighs> you okay? He's not running for governor. He I should. was under the impression that he was, for some reason. Governor of where? North Carolina? Yeah. Why? Uh, science guy. Does he have ties to North Carolina? Not at all. Well, then why is he running for governor of North Carolina? He looks like he could be James Taylor's cousin, and James Taylor is from Chapel Hill. Great point. Okay. Solid point. He's got my vote if he does it. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to vote for, like, you know, Roy Cooper. But anyway. How's the beer? You know, the more I drink it, the more I'm bummed that it's, like, right, I really can... wish that you didn't have any and that I had yeah. it all. We're, like, doctoring. We're doctoring. Babying. We're nursing. Nursing. We don't quite have our doctor. We're midwifing. We're midwifing midwifing this beer. Right. Nurse a beer! Sometimes I like to get drunk, and I like to nurse a beer. Midwife a beer. Uh, Midwife. We both drank at the same time. That doesn't make for good podcasting. We're really unprofessional. That's terrible. It's really good. It is really good. I feel like I know some shit about beer. I drink a lot of beer. I drink a lot of beer. I can't help but say it like that. You drink a lot more than... I, you're a piece of shit. That's how much beer you drink. I like beer. You're white trash. I could be. How much How much beer do you drink that... You have a Pat's Blue Ribbon immediately to your left. On deck. Yeah. Well, it's because I opened it and then I didn't think we were recording, but now we're recording, so... Question. How does it hold up against the gizmo? How does it... I got you right quick. Well, also... Are you going to do... Are you going to... Oh... He's going to taste test one. He just did the PBR. Oh, he did the beekeeper. Are they close? That's incredible how night and day that is. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's only a couple bucks difference, but holy shit. Really? Yeah. Should I drink some? No, that's mine. Oh. Yeah, do it. Sweet! Uh, go back to back on it. He's drinking the PBR. Yeah, that's PBR, right? Honestly, it tastes better because it's combined with the aftertaste of the beekeeper. Oh, well, yeah, you're probably getting a little... <laughs> now he's drinking pee- beekeeper. Wow. Right? That's so drastically better. It's incredibly drastic. That's... I want to say exponential, but I'm going to say drastic instead. Okay. That's exponentially better. I lied. Um, Here you go. Well, I'm sick, so have fun oh, with... Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you're just going to wipe it off? That's the kind of guy you are. God, fuck you. 
Um, anyways, yeah, I feel like I know like a lot about beer. Well, maybe I don't know a lot about beer, but I'm a connoisseur. What you're gonna say? What you mean to say is, I feel like I'm borderline alcoholic. Exactly. That's what you're trying to say. I feel like I'm borderline alcoholic, and I do love beer. So I, my opinion is valid. You follow? Uh, you I follow? Have, hear me out. My opinion's valid. Listen to me. Look at me. Oh, are you getting teary eyed? Don't talk about. It. Hey, um, bitch. Ah, right. But anyway. <laughs> uh, give us a kiss. I'm gonna go ahead and say, my opinion's valid because I have taste buds. And this shit is dope. And I know dope when I taste it. I put a lot of things in my mouth that were not dope. Sure. Yeah. You have. You have. A lot of things. Yeah. All food, I should point out. Right. Get your mind out of the gutter. You listeners? Viewers? We don't table it. Okay. Um, yeah. I've eaten a lot of things. I've drank a lot of things. I've you tried to eat a lot of things and failed. Um, tasted all of them. Tasted all and this is ranking highly. This is, this is, this is the goods. This is the bears. Fuck, man, this is the bears. Uh, so we got, oh uh, I'm pretty sure we got two gizmos. We did. Right, within this. We have a coffee stout as well. Okay, so this, this time around, we're rating Gizmo Brewworks Beekeeper Honey Wheat. I don't know what you're saying about, but we're about to rate it. And I feel like you should go first. I'm going to be honest. I know you think that I vote very drastically. You do. I, I swear to God. I swear to God. Twelve. Hi, guys. This is Rick Hockey, and I'm here to tell you about some other shows on our podcast network. To start off, no. I'm not Rick. This is Cannon from All Things Popped, from Netflix, the guys behind the scenes getting yelled at all the time. But today I'm going to tell you about the other shows on our network. First off, we have on Mondays, Rick and Elsie does your scene. He's talking to bands. He's getting shit done. It's great. You need to hear what he's got going on. Tuesdays, guess what? It's me and it's Mikey. All Things Popped. We're talking about science and technology telling you all the things you never knew you never needed to know. Wednesdays, these guys you're listening to right now, I'll have what he's having. They're getting drinks and I'm getting them drank, okay? It's important you guys need to keep up with this sort of things. Screw the elections. This is what's really important, what they're putting in their bodies and whether it's good or not. Thursdays, back to me and Mikey for all things popped. It's fun. You science, you tech, you're getting it done. Friday, guess what? It's me again, okay? It's going to be me and the Johns with Netflix. We're going to be watching the movies on Netflix so you don't have to. If you have suggestions, send them in. We'll tackle them. Saturdays, John Skinner, you know him, Oh Wales. He's doing Q to Q. He is watching theater. He is talking to people in theater. He's finding out the scoop on what is going on in your town. Sundays, guys, ascending the Holy Mountain, Danny Trudel from Holy Mountain Printing. He's got his connections over the years in the hardcore scene and different people in different levels of production and movies. He's talking to them, he's figuring it out, and he's getting the down low on the dirty. So all these shows, Monday through Sunday on lastchancepodcastnetwork.com. Check it out. Back to these douchebags. Give me a real fucking rating here. Honestly? This guy. I keep thinking if there's like a drawback. And there's not one. Like, I want to be honest. I want to be fair. You know, they're sponsoring us. So I'm not going to be like a b-hole. No, you're selling out, though. I am selling are out. You being, are you being paid? Uh, are you being paid off for your rating and your high-valued your high valued opinion? Uh, let me put it to you this way. I'm quitting and retiring. Like, oh, now. Shit. So we're about to... So 12 stands. Uh, okay, that's not real on a scale of 1 to 10. That's crazy. That is fake. Actually. That is fake. Um, I will say, man, I'm not really tasting it down. Let me, let me, hold on. I just took my last sip. It's gone. You too. This guy just chugged. I had to get to the ass of the beer. Isn't that, it went down real easy. That was so, that was literally like the same easy, easy as water. It's not expensive, but I will tell you this, uh, what we yeah, got. Yeah, it was like was, six bucks. This is six bucks and it was two beers, essentially. We both split it and had a full, full glass. Um, that ain't bad. 
No. So yeah, you can, this is you hard can really, to rate, man. You can really wreck your life with some beekeeper. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to have to give it a solid at least nine. You're going to go nine? There's no weird aftertaste. It's fantastic. It's got a solid alcohol percentage. Sure. It drinks really, really easily. Yeah. 5.5? Even the ass of the beer where everything settles and it can get kind of wonky. Right. That wasn't wonky. And that's super hard to find. I'm just saying, guys, do yourself a favor and check this shit out. Why is it not a 10? I, honestly, I thought you were going to judge me if I said 10. I was. I thought you were going to call me a sellout. That's I, the whole reason. I'm going to say 9.5. <coughs> I'll say it again because you coughed over it. 9.5. You sell out. 9.5, Only and the only reason it's not a 10 is because it's not perfect. I can't tell you why it's not perfect, but it's just... I've had... It's real close, though. I've had a couple of beers, and I'm like, this is the perfect beer. This is incredible, though. I like... I'm a bitch. I don't really like stouts or porters as I don't much. like... I, that's the thing. I don't like super dark beers, typically. No, I don't either. So, like an amber or a honey wheat, or this is right up my alley. So... Oh, dude. And then you add honey. Like, I'm a big fan of anything honey-flavored, especially... I put honey in my tea this morning. Dude... Honey Shut. beers are great. I thought you were going to judge me for saying I drink tea this morning. No, why do you? Why are you so insecure? I, I'm shaking, okay? Okay. Was it me? Yeah, it was. Okay. It, I'm hurt. So we get a 9 and a 9.5. 9. That's extremely high, and I swear. I don't not, think it's because it's we're It's not just because we're being paid thousands of dollars. It's just really good beer. <laughs> it is really good. Like, I feel dumb because I can't say things... I don't want to, like, use a bunch of different synonyms to really overdo it. You should, though. It's exquisite. Exquisite! Extravagant. Whoa. It's joyous. How about it's tasty? Oh, yeah. It's crafty. It's super tasty. It's super crafty. Yeah, I mean, it's local. It's freaking good, man. Like, I'm not going to try to... I'm not going to really overdo it, but... It's just a solid beer. It it's not... Solid. That's what I love. I love when things aren't crazy flashy. They yeah. just do the job yeah. really freaking well. I've... And it does that. I've had some beers and I'm like, yo, try this. This is, in, like, super intense on this side of this spectrum. This is a middle-of-the-road kind of good. Yeah. It's, like, wholesome. That's what it is. It's wholesome. It's wholesome and This it, is like Kevin Arnold. Yeah, it's contentment. It's like Kevin James. Huh. Hmm. It's like Kevin Bacon. Yeah, this is Kevin Bacon's beer. Well, I don't even know about that. Anyways, Gizmo, Beekeeper, Honey Wheat. I guess we're doing it. We're gonna do a Gizmo next week as well. I think we'll be trying the Coffee Stout. Yeah, totally. I don't have the name of it off the top of my head because it's currently in the refrigerator. Refrigeratin. I'm glad I pulled it out of the freezer because we almost got wrecked. We almost had a bad time. We almost had a bad time. We put it in the freezer. We were like, man. I don't ever want to drink a room temperature beer. Man, we did Jaeger and Cheerwine, and we did them both at room temperature, and I think that made everything a lot worse. I don't know if it was a lot worse. It was worse. It was worse. It wasn't great to begin with, but I digress. All right, well, I'll have what he's having. This is Ichwi Wednesday. Catch us next Wednesday. We're going to be pumping uh, another gizmo. Thank you again to uh, Crafty Beer Shop. Yeah. Really definitely. hooking us up. Giving us some beers to drink and talk about, and again, oh, well, obviously paying us thousands of dollars. Yeah, I mean... So thank you for the I got paid way more than you did. Did you? I definitely did. Um, yeah, shout out to, to Wendy. Shout out, Wendy. What up, Wendy? Yeah, for making all this possible. Uh, we're really big fans of this. You guys have great taste to even pick this. For real, and they they have tons of beers, but I think they're taking a really local stance on things, and that's pretty cool. I admire that. Definitely. I will say this. This is a weird note. Dead Fat John Ritter totally drank the Imperial IPA that we were going to do. Let's talk about this. I'm glad you brought this up. So. I just remember um, that. I was reading through here, and... Dead yeah, Fat John Ritter. Dead fucking fat fucking John fucking Ritter. Well, good for Dead Fat fucking fucking John fucking Ritter. Excuse you. Uh, good for him. You know, he he set up this thing with Wendy. He gets us a, a sponsorship, and then he just drinks the beer. Yeah, he drank, 
He drank a beer. He drank a beer. But he's dead. So he but he's need dead. It. So he's fat and he stinks. And like, why do you even need beer? You already. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, dead fat John Ritter. You're still doing a great job. I mean, yeah, he did. He did. He just stinks. God, he smells so weird. You know what doesn't stink? This fucking beekeeper beer. This Am I right? Beer. Give me some skin. Oh. Give me some. <laughs> <sighs> All right, we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, I'll have what he's having. Check us every Wednesday. Lastchancepodcastnetwork.com. Oh yeah, we should announce. We have T-shirts available now. We definitely have T-shirts. Last Chance Podcast Network has really kind of grown in the past couple of, of really months. It's very in its yeah. infancy. Ton of good shows, so check it out. Check out yeah, lastchancepodcastnetwork.com. Yeah, Holy Mountain how, Holy Mountain Printing. Promise Take I can kiki. talk. Yeah, they have their own podcast on here, Ascending the Holy Mountain. Uh, we are getting shirts done through them as well. I suggest dope. everyone do the same if you need band shirts or what have you. Right. Or family reunions, or if you're, you know, an idea smith. And you want to make your own shirts. Idea Smith. They're dope. Check them out. Um, also, Last Chance uh, t-shirts coming out. So, also. Yeah. I don't have the URL in front of us, but it's going to be big cartel. I, I don't either, but we're drinking beer. You can find it on lastchancepodcastnetwork.com. That's right. So, check us next Wednesday. <laughs> what he meant to say was, check us out next Wednesday. I'm Sean. I'm Alex. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to go away. Peace. This has been a Last Chance Podcast production brought to you by the Last Chance Podcast Network.